616-1320 WILS. So, you know, uh, the selfie generation has led people to be more and more focused on the way they look. And that has now led to this major boom in non-surgical procedures, plastic surgery procedures. We're talking 20, 30-year-olds are now uh, in the office getting all kinds of procedures done, hoping to uh, delay or even avoid cosmetic surgery in the future. We're uh, now joined by board-certified plastic surgeon Dr. Farah Khan, who has dealt with many of these procedures. And I believe she's on. Hey, Dr. Khan, great to have you on WILS. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, what, uh, I mean, how young a, a person do you see in your office nowadays trying to get some kind of procedure? You know, you see a lot of uh, teenagers, uh, typically above the age of 18, um, the 18, 19-year-olds, and um, a lot more uh, 20-year-olds as well coming in for non-invasive plastic surgery. Okay. Now, what what would they be getting at that age? Um, you know, I think a lot of them just want to prevent um, getting the wrinkles. And, you know, they've seen maybe their moms or aunts or older siblings get Botox. And so I think they're almost starting at a younger age. So some of them will come in for Botox. Some of them will come in for fillers, especially if they don't like, let's say, the shape of their nose or the shape of their jaw. Um, and we've even seen kids um, coming in for Kybella, which simply um, eliminates the fat that's under a person's chin. Yeah, okay. And does that actually, I mean, if you're 18, 19, you're getting these procedures, does it help you in the future from having issues? Or? I mean, Kybella is permanent. So Kybella uh, definitely will, uh, will last um, for, you know, several years. Um, the difference with uh, Botox and fillers, typically those only last a couple of months. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I think a lot of people do have this thinking that, well, if I start earlier, then I won't need as much when I'm in my 30s or my yeah. 40s. Um, and there is some truth to that. So if you get Botox when you're 18 or 19, you'll what, basically you will never develop wrinkles, something like that? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think at the end, gravity always wins, right? And aging, <laughs> it always happens. But I think maybe they won't develop as many or they won't develop as deep um, as wrinkles. And so it's easier to kind of maintain or keep up a more rejuvenated appearance. Hmm. How much of this do you think is, is the whole selfie movement that, that they're looking at their face all the time? Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I think the selfie movement is probably the major force behind this because as people take selfies and post them on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, they are more cognizant of how they look. Mm -hmm. And so they want to kind of keep up with the Joneses, right? That everyone wants to look like the Kardashians or whatever. And so they're um, drawn towards plastic surgery. Hmm. Uh, Dr. Farah Khan with us. It's conplasticsurgery.com. Would you ever get any procedures yourself? You know, I just, I'm pretty low maintenance, but I mean, I think it, it just depends. It depends on the person. Yeah, so and I would probably get a Bella if I want. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a and that's, reasonable. Now, that's the, the thing the under the chin, right? Because yeah. people are getting self-conscious. Is this a new thing for people to be self-conscious about their chins? Well, I think they've been self-conscious in, in the past as well. It's just in the past we typically have to do surgery, so we have to do liposuction. But the cool thing about Kybella is it's an in-office procedure. It takes about five minutes, um, and you typically need two or three injections about six weeks apart, and then you're done. Okay, so and it basically makes fit. everything under your chin just – but what about the skin? What happens to the skin there? It doesn't it's, – it's an acid that actually dissolves fat. So it's, it's an acid that's normally found in your body, and it's normally in your digestive tract. It's what helps us dissolve fat. Okay. Um, and so, so it just targets so the fat. If you've had – you're saying if you have like a second chin, it makes the second chin go away? It can, exactly. Okay. And and what does the skin hang there? What, what, what does that do? Typically – Kybella is great for people who have that skin tone. If um, if a patient is a little bit older and does have some loose skin, we can typically pair it with other non-invasive technology mm. that tightens the skin. And so, like lasers or radio frequency machines, those can then help tighten the skin while you're dissolving mm. the fat. Lasers actually tighten the skin. I did not know that. Okay, that's that mm -hmm. sounds nice. Yeah. And what? Uh, how, how much better does a person look? How much better? Uh, you know, honestly, our patients. I mean. Majority of them, I would say, get at least seventy-five to eighty percent correction, which is great. Seventy-five to eighty percent correction. Does it make you look mm -hmm. younger, not having that fat under there? Yeah, I would say so, and it also just helps um, people who are self. 
conscious about it, especially in photographs, I think it helps them um, just gain more confidence. And we've actually had a patient who said um, he, he was going on, or he's planning on going on vacation, so he hated taking pictures of himself. Hmm. So he got this procedure done, and now he's looking forward to going on vacation and taking pictures. And taking a bunch of selfies yeah. to show everybody his nice new chin, huh? Exactly, yeah. show off his new contour. Yeah, I was wondering, that, I mean, did people ultimately figure out that it's really not about their looks anyway, that that's not the real problem? Well, you know, I think at the end of the day, we live in a society where first impressions pretty much you know, matter um, beyond everything else, right? Yeah. And so everyone wants to put their best face forward. Oh, that's a good and, one. Uh, and yeah. we're just giving people a little bit more confidence. Dr. Farah Khan, it's uh, KhanPlasticSurgery.com. She's a board-certified plastic surgeon. Dr. Khan, thank you for joining us on WILS. Sure, thank you for having me.